Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. So, I figured it out. Minecart is pulling product. Minecart is dumping product off at a barn. And here's how I did it. When I was doing the input outputs before, I was actually thinking in terms of the rail cart itself, the minecart. So when I was saying, hey, I've got a product here I want to put on the cart, I had this set to input. I also had it facing the wrong way. I was like, oh, this is the direction it's going. It actually should be the direction it's pulling the freight from. Now here, same thing, this is input to put it into something. I was saying, like, from the terms of the minecart, this should have been output, right? Because the minecart is outputting to something else. But this is actually a fairly quick way. I mean, these things are moving pretty fast. It holds 20 of a thing. Well, not anymore because of whatever, but... Yeah, I just slapped together a quick world. Wanted to give this a go. And, uh, minecarts could be amazing. Now, what we're gonna have to do is treat this with some sort of advanced filtering system, I think. Um, these logic blocks, there are splitters, which isn't really what I want. Um, there is this filter, though. So I'm not too sure how this will work. But if I say wood, and if I do more rail, maybe. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, but this is still really exciting. I'm kind of hoping we can treat this as if it's like a, a, an advanced rail system like in TTD or something. It doesn't even have to be that advanced, but... Okay, filter on wood. Is that... Does this need to be rotate? I don't know how this works. Okay, maybe it's not working the way I intended to, and that's alright. Um, what about splitters? Does that work as I'd hoped? So this cart will go straight. I don't know, it'll go left. And then the next time it comes around, it'll go straight? Okay. That works just fine, as expected. No problems there. Um, what else can we monkey with while I've got this whole thing set up here? We'll force matching items to take a specified path direction. Okay, so here, sorter. Wood. Now, I wonder if that'll happen because it has wood in its inventory or what. Um, let's upgrade you a little bit. Yep, okay, because it has wood in its inventory. Brilliant. Let's do a similar thing with grain. Uh, buildings. A silo right there. I want the wood to go this way. There's no point for it to come all the way around. This is an output type. So go there and there. Thank you. And access type input. I was really hoping there'd be some sort of a filter. Um, actually, we could probably set filters like this. So I'm going to say wooden wheel. Nothing. It didn't drop off. Nothing happened. Cool. Okay, so this all can be done. No, I want to remove that filter. None. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, I need you jerks off the line. Uh, workers. Minecart. Um. This could be interesting. I might need a separate junction. Because how's this minecart going to know to come here, right? This one's going straight because wood. Oh, it actually also just picked up wood. Uh, delete. That's actually probably going to be more helpful if I take a moment. Oh, it's grains, right? I should actually take a moment and actually specify some... Yeah, I did specify wood there. Huh. I wonder what made it turn like that. Oh, because it wasn't wood. I get it. Yep, because... Okay, so this, this actually works... This actually works two things. It not only says all wood carriages go this way, but it also says all non-wood carriages should go somewhere else. Okay, so this is a very closed system, but it gives you an idea on how we can get products quickly from A to B in a... Okay. <laughs> the system is less than ideal, okay? <laughs> Anywho. I think that gives me a fair enough of an idea of how I wanted this to be set up and how it works. Um, before I say that with finality, I don't think there's really anything else one way. I mean, 
This is just helpful, I guess, if I needed to make sure that stuff is going the correct path and not double backing. I mean, those don't cost me anything. It's all just logistics. Um, the barrier gate, I'm going to assume, is going to be done with logic later. So you could say, wait here, wait until you have so much, then open the gate and tell it to go or something. I'm not sure. Uh, the compute blocks seem also fairly straight up with inventory sensors. Um, we could do counters. We could say, hey, how many carts have passed around here or whatever. Um, we've got options. I'm not too sure how much of that I'm going to explore in this series, but still. Glad we got that figured out a little bit. I don't know which one I saved. Uh, this one. Very good. So now that we know how to do that, nothing's stopping me from setting up a much larger path or logistics system or whatever to just bring these mana shards back here, right? Um, oh, the reason why I had them on the coast like that was for the whole reason of being able to use boats. But that's okay. Research is still coming along nicely. Okay. Uh, this episode, what I'd really like to do is clean up my wheat production. I'm actually really not happy with how much that has stagnated and how much work is required to get wheat to a level that I'd be happy with. Um, these are all valuable resources. I kind of want to keep them there. Um, you are going to go right there. You guys are going to stay there. Cool. How are we doing on iron? Plenty of iron. Upgrade you. Good. Now the iron is going to be something that's I'm going to want to pull from like here to here. And we could do mining, we could do caravans. I might do the minecart. That actually feels good. That might be cool. Um, anyway, enough with the chit chat. Let's go ahead and get started with what I wanted to this episode. I don't need any of that. And let's go ahead and terrain flatten down. got tons of coin. Might as well use it, right? Uh, everything's flattened down around here. Uh, I don't need that anymore. Cool. Okay. I want, I'd say, four farms. I'd say something like this. Um, that should give me plenty of room for everything else. Oh, uh, I'm not going to have to shoot anything. Um, you are going to get supply water grain. Supply water grain. Supply water grain. And supply water grain. Okay. Is four enough? Probably not. But... I do want to get this started. I do want to get a centralized location where I could have enough stuff. This looks like this. I think that's a good start. Oof, all the grain. Awesome. It's not that grain is difficult to do or manage or whatever, but the problem is I need so much of it to get anywhere. Can you just... Thanks. <laughs> Hi. Thank you. Now, we do the option of using fertilizer. I'm not really super keen on it, so I'm not bothering. Um, what I will need to do, though, is wells. And let's get these metal conveyors figured out. Oh, hey, I needed that. Thank you. Uh, grabbers. 
We got water. Everything's coming into the system real nice. Um, I think I want to really treat this as, like, my metal town. Um, just as a refresher over here, this is how I've got this going on. We've got it all very production, turns it into plates or nails. That gets put into centralized holding, and then that gets distributed everywhere else. If I needed to add more forges, I have room for that. So, it allows for some level of expansion without really inhibiting anything else. So, let's go ahead and... Um, actually, a better question would be, is there anything else I actually need uh, grain for? So, I have the grain mill, gourmet foods, apothecary, workshop... Pasture. I don't know if I place a kitchen. I did not place a kitchen. Okay. Um, let's make sure that's all the production things. Yep. Okay. So just to just to reiterate what I want to figure out. I want to figure out if grain by itself is ever used anywhere, right? The place that I do know it's used is in a food market right here, and that's one of the base things that we have. So grains right here. I have been turning it into flour, which has been very helpful. But grain is the only thing that's used here realistically. Now if grain is used in like pies or something, that's the thing that I'm afraid of. Okay, there's nothing in the apothecary. In the kitchen, so there's flour. Butter, flour, butter. Cake, more cake. Okay, flour is not required. Is flour required anywhere here? No. Flour is required here for the grain mill. Okay, flour isn't needed anywhere else. That's the answer. So, there's no point in me storing a ton of grain, right? There's, there's literally no point. So, um, let's see here. How do I want to handle this though? Should this all go into a barn and then I distribute it out? That might be a little bit more sane. That might help my sanity a bit more, actually. Um, I don't like how any of this is. <laughs> oh, you know what? No, I like the look of that. Uh, sure, I don't care. Now move over. I actually do like the look of the way that is. That was good language, me. So something like this, yeah? Make it look make it look good, yeah? Something like that? Okay. So this is going to be set to grain. And grain. Oh no. Uh no 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 no. I don't want the whole item filter just being grain. Later on, I might want to use this for something else. GRA. Cool. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our automation on. Uh, this can kind of literally eat up as much space as I want it to. That looks good. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, uh, problem. That's facing the wrong way. There we go. Okay, our logistics box. Let's get some grabbers. I think I would like two metal conveyors for each. Cool. So now what I have is a very, I guess, centralized spot for all these things. All these things all being put into nice little piles. I just have one worker. Don't get me wrong, we just, we're on one worker right now. I could easily do more. We could easily expand. We could easily make this a lot more of an enterprise. But right now, pretty happy with what we're at. Where do we do everything? Can I move the base? Oh my god, I can move the base. Awesome. <laughs> You're gonna go right there. Thank you. 
Um, who was bringing stuff to me? All this. This can all go. We've got tons of storage and everything else. It's really not important. Let's just... Cool. Okay. Now I've got room. Now, from these two barns, I'm producing a lot of wheat. What I'm going to want out of each of these is probably... At least... At a minimum, one grain mill, right? Like that. You're going to produce flour. You're going to produce animal feed. This is going to be very straightforward in terms of how we're going to set up the architecture. That's the wrong item, dude. No, that was the right one. I don't know if the coffee hasn't kicked in yet, or it's kicked in and I'm... Wee! <laughs> okay. That looks good. Um, we're going to do this thing. Hello. Thank you. And... Grabbers. Now, just to make sure we don't bite ourselves in the face, eventually, I'm just going to say grain. And grain. It's really important if you don't know if something's going to be used later, that you specify. Be as specific as possible. That way you don't bite yourself in the butt. I know I've been referencing Factorio and such uh, with this game in terms of it. Realistically, when it comes down to it, is if you've got a system that you're adding to constantly, constantly, more and more and more and more, the problem is the very second you introduce another variable, be it another product or another intermediate or another final product or something, you add another thing, um, there's risk of contamination. It's like, oh, this process is working so well, now it doesn't work at all. What happened? Well, you didn't tell this thing to specifically do this task. You said grab anything. Grab anything in the warehouse bring it in. So it did that. It did exactly what you told it to, and now the problem is, there's more crap in the warehouse. I'm gonna require me up a pasture. Hi. Um, okay, what do we, what do we make? We've got flour. Uh, actually, you know what I want to do? Do I want another barn for s storage? Yes, I do. Hi, move. Move. Maybe this is a ginormous waste of setting up these intermediaries this way, but I like it. Um, if worse comes to worse, I could put another... Let's put you guys up like this. If worse comes to worse and I want to expand, I could put another grain mill right there. Right, right next to it, right there. And actually, you know what? Let's just do that right now. Let's set it up so that way I don't forget how I wanted this done. Because this is going to get output from the barn. And push to this barn, no problem. So that looks like that. Move back one. Thank you. Cool. Okay. So now I've got the infrastructure in place in case I want it. F uh, flower, please. And animal feed, please. Coolio. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this again. Uh, this was flower. Flower. Oh, let's just max out all the barns, why not? Uh, metal, yep. Okay, that gets our flower going. Uh, here was feed, animal feed, right? Yep, animal feed, animal feed. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, this barn is maxed. Maxed, maxed, maxed. Awesome. Let's go ahead and get some paths going on. And our logistics. Cool. Okay, we are now in a place that I'm very happy about. Um, you know what, let's just power these on. They're already consuming a worker just sitting here. I might as well just have them running. Okay, grain mills are going. Uh, I might need way more... I might need another conveyor belt to move this stuff into these grain mills. Well, this one's doing alright. Okay. So right now we've got animal feed, 
wheat or grains or whatever and flour. So that's cool. That's a big chunk of the process. I was, I was actually a little afraid of getting started. Look at how good that looks. Oh, I actually want to do some decorations. Lamp posts. Look at that shiz. Oh, so good. Oh my god, so good. Uh, a bench? Sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> um, let's see here. Now, with this, I want to use this as my template. I can copy-paste this pretty much anywhere I want. Um, I wish copy-pasting was a thing. That's okay. Long story short, I don't need, I don't need, I don't need. Uh, right now I've got, yep, I could bulldoze all this, copy this literally right over, call it a day. Um, let's work on our shortages. Right now, I want two people in every grain mill. So, in trying to debug this system, I'm saying I want this amount of workers or production or whatever. Now I've got to troubleshoot why, if at all, I'm not producing enough. So these grain mills aren't getting enough wheat. There's plenty of wheat in storage. So I need another pusher, more grabbers, that kind of a thing. So let's see here. It should be easy enough. Okay, uh, we'll do the same thing here. Now don't forget, we're doing all this without any any transport workers. No, no one here is just ferrying product around. This is all very straightforward, as automated as possible. Okay. So now we've set all that up. I want to make sure that whatever we want can get in it. Uh, meaning any wagons or anything like that. Let's do a little bit of precision here. Cool, I think I got it. Uh, paths. Does that look right? Gosh, I wish I could zoom in a little bit more. That looks right to me. Okay, cool. Now this one. Yeah, buddy, we got it. Cool. Whew, sorry for all the swivel camera nonsense. Just I want to make sure I get it from every angle. Now let's see what happens. Yep, all of these grain mills are full. Uh, oh, it's just because the barns are full. Okay, fair enough. Um, are these keeping up with this? Do we have a ton of excess wheat? Not a ton, but we do have some. So as we start pulling product out of these facilities... Um, it's going to be a little more evident as to what we are lacking. So, that's all I really have to say about that. Two and everything? Cool. That is one slick looking grain farm right there. Whew, I like it. Alright. Let's take a gander on some of the other systems that we have going on here. This barn could use more coal. Again, I know it's a fairly manual process, but I am saving money doing it. That's my rationale for that. <laughs> Um, how's this coming in terms of leather? Oh, we have an abundance of leather. Excellent stuff. Uh, I need a workshop. I forgot all what we can do with the leathers. Workshop. Workshop, workshop, workshop. There you go. Gosh, I keep looking for an alphabetical order. Leather and paper makes books. That could be cool. Let's do that. Let's work on our science a bit more. I, th I think I like that a lot better. Uh, it'll be something like this. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, that's bringing mana crystals. So, we're just going to have to do this a little bit art artistically. Nope. Cool. And this is going to be, you know it, you love it, <laughs> metal conveyor belts floating in the sky. <laughs> there is no science. 
with things floating in the sky. Okay, so that's gonna get paper in here. I need you to make books. Very cool. I also need another worker. Caravan, if you will. I gotta get all the way over here to get leather and all the way back. Cool. And then very simply, this is gonna look something like this. Oh, I should really space this out a bit more. Gonna do it. Oh, so much better. <laughs> Thankful I did that. A scaffold block. Boop, boop, ba doop. I like how free the camera is. I don't think I've mentioned that yet. I love how free the camera is. Like, it, it's very liberating. It's just, wee. Like, it's very, it makes sense. It's, it flows. It's slick. It's like liquid, right? There's no real form to it. It's just whatever you want it to be. There's no specific way to look at things. You just look at them how you want to look at them. I just wish I could look up higher and zoom in a little further so I could actually like get in front of the house and see, oh, is everything looking good here? How is this all structured? Are all the things going to where they need to go? You know, that would be cool. Until then, we. All right, so our first leather shipment's going to arrive. Uh, now, the reason why we're doing this is... One paper is worth one writing supplies. One book is worth ten, though. So that's going to greatly increase the efficiency of what we got going on here. Yep, book. So that should just jump. Oh, actually, it's not obviously jumping because we need 18 writing supplies per transaction. So we've definitely made this a lot more efficient. Give me some credit where credit is due, yo. Still backed up with milk and eggs and carrots. Things are looking good. Okay, I think I also want some packagers here. Uh, packager. So I learned my lesson from before. What this is emphatically going to do is we're going to have a packager here. You're going to pack into crate. And I need some room. Hi, just a little bit, thank you. So we have our flower here, and we have our animal feed here. So check this out, pack into crate. Here's what we gonna do. We're gonna do more floaty magicry. Magicry? Magic trickery. I tried to put the word magic and trickery into the same word. Mag magicry. Magicry. You're, you're a majerk. <laughs> Seems like a good comeback. Yeah, you're a majerk. And just a little bit of fancy footwork here with the camera. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go right to it. Metal conveyors. Okay. And pause the game because I'm going to do the grabby thingy. This is animal feed. Oh, cool. That was the last thing I did. And this is going to be... Flower. Roy. Cool. So this is going to auto-package all the stuff. And now, the lesson learned that I was trying to get to is these things can only hold, like... Okay, so it's four per crate. Good. Um, how much stuff ca can a crate hold? Is there a way to figure this out? 20. Okay. That might actually be fine? Can, can it be upgraded? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, 20 might be fine because the most this can hold is 10. See, I really wish it could hold multiple stuff, but I wanted to do this for symmetry's sake. Which might be stupid, but whatever. So things can't automatically be shoveled into crates, that's fine. Um, but right now what I have here is 40 animal feed. So not only are we increasing how quickly like our logistics system works and reacts and operates, we're trying to make it more efficient. How much stuff can we pack into the same truck? How many, how many things can we get in the same box, right? The second that number increases and you can pack more crap, uh, everything gets more efficient and better and cleaner and all the stuff. Um, I am running low on mana crystals, which is a shame. Oh, what? 
Got a barn full of shards because I forgot to put a grabby grabby. Alright, well that solved that problem. Um, I still have some mana shards here, so let's just do this. Cool. Okay. Uh, still doing good on the leather, so I'm happy with that. I don't think there's much else to do. Uh, happiness is still 466, an all-time high, obviously. Really happy with that. Um, yeah, things are going real well. Going real swell, going real well. Um, yeah, so let's call this an episode here. Thanks for joining me. My name is John Megacycle. Another episode of Factory Town is in the books, and I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and Game With My Crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.